Hello there everyone, this is Pradian007 and I have Killer Priest with me. Hi. Um, as you can see, we bring um, a 4 v 4 replay of Company of Heroes 2. We have 4 OKWs. We are facing 2 Americans and 2 Brits. With us, we also have uh, Staff. And, oh wait, this is Killer Priest and Big Boss. Alright, so. How about we get into the replay in three, two, one? So, uh, <coughs> essentially, since we saw that, you know, there are the three VP points here in the north, we all decided, like, you know what? Let's head there, like, all four of us. Yeah. Thankfully, it worked out pretty, uh, yeah. pretty well. I just don't know like with what doctrines the, the allies go. Oh, we can check. These guys didn't choose anything yet. Oh, this guy went with rifle company. This guy didn't choose anything yet, and this American didn't choose either anything. Alright. Big boss didn't choose anything yet. Kill a priest, let's see, kill a priest. Oh yeah, he went with the firestorm doctrine. Yes, I love me firestorms. Steph didn't go with anything yet, and I didn't choose anything yet. <coughs> I immediately went with freaking flames because I love flames. Yeah. So, Killer Priest and Big Boss, they will concentrate in the north, and me and Steph, we're gonna concentrate here, on this side in the middle. Taking the munition and the victory point. And I hear the first engagement, and there it yeah. is. Storms versus real. Yeah. <clears throat> How early did they build the uh, the finding positions in the north? <coughs> um, really early on, to be honest. All right, and now we see that the allies actually gathered up in the middle. Yep, true. Thankfully, I had the folk squad. Steph is bringing up his other folk squad, and I had a Storm Pioneer squad. Then Anarchy comes in with his storms, and I come in with my storms. Whose Kugelwagen is this? That's mine. Oh yeah, that actually was really good here. Nice. still useful. Yep. In this situation it helped a lot. Yep. <coughs> uh, I can't really say like if we caused the allies like a lot of casualties. But, but we made them uh, not yeah. capture the zone. So. But also I think they still had more casualties than us because some of my squads were still at full capacity. Well, yeah, I had to retreat. Somewhere. What's going on in the north? Oh yeah. What did they do in the two victory points? They built a trench with an MG and they didn't even capture the castle yet, so... No, they did not. Steph will have a little bit of engagement over there. Again. Again. Grand carrier. Ah, wow, that's freaking grand. Yeah, it will. The dude will upgrade it with flame forward. When I heard uh, Brand carry, I immediately was getting a. Uh, Rakete? Yeah. What about in the north? I see riflemen in the building. We are echelons. Oh, they're building up the. Uh, what? Uh, fighting position. Oh, in the north? Yeah. The thing is, when I got into the church, I saw it. I think it was uh, that way that oh, I yeah, saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> I think it's the guy ready. Still trying to fight off the, the American rifleman and the Brit. Uh, Steph's moving in with the storms. Yeah. Uh, he. I'm going to set up that medical post. 
I was glad because I set up then my mechanized. I was like, yeah. And I had my. I had mine uh, set up really close as well. Uh, no, the American is trying to move up. Yeah. There are Anarchy's forces. Yeah. Nice pinning down. Oh, nice flank as well. If only you had a grenade. Yeah. My Google made sure that they wouldn't, wouldn't be able Here to do much. Here comes Brand Carry again, but this time with a flamethrower. Oh, Steph was actually able and to. And we, yeah, we got the bastard. Oh, you did, huh? Oh yeah, two Shreks. It only needs two Shreks. Yeah, that's a good thing. Building up the MG. Oh yeah, the second fighting position is ready in the north. <coughs> yeah. The guy's digging in really well, actually. The Steph American and the Brits is trying to push Steph yeah. out. From Steph castle. just took the castle. But they have a lot of forces over there. You yeah, should just get out of there. He's gonna die. He's, He's retreating his forces. And I got my first Puma. Ah, yeah, you said you were getting an early Puma in this game. I told you that will be most of the time what I will do. Like if someone close to me will get like a medical one, <coughs> I will go with uh, mechanize just to get the early Puma and the early extra resources. I lost a lot of units in the north. I didn't lose squads, thankfully, but I just lost units in that squad. Salvaging destroyed vehicles and weapons will yield additional resources. Alright, I oh, will yeah, put something to do That filthy sniper. At what time are you right now? 6.50. 6.50. Alright, can you pause it at exactly 7 minutes? Alright. All right, I just need to lower the volume a little bit. There we go. That's a good idea, I should see if my volume is... Damn it. Well. If it went forward a little bit to two seconds. No problem. Well, I'm at two seconds now as well. Alright. Then let's continue in three, two, one. Nice grenade on the building. Oh yeah. <coughs> I God love damn. that. I love that feel at the south like how the dude is trying to send his lieutenant. Oh yeah. Your Kubo, like Steph said, your Kubo was well positioned. Position, yeah. So, I helped you guys out of getting rid of that filthy fighting position. Indeed, you did. Right now, I think. Our forces are pretty balanced. Let's see. This guy's with the rifle company. The British guy one with I have no idea what this is called. This guy one uh, with the heavy which one cavalry. Is, which British? Uh, the one between the two Americans. The, yeah, I have no idea what is that. I think that's something like the tank hunter. All right, you guys are making an excellent progress. Oh yeah, I'm destroying now the other fighting position. We tried to keep him out, you know. Yeah. But of course that MG was uh, really a problem. Yeah. They, uh, they will soon set up their freaking emplacements, which is going to be a little bit of a nuisance. Yeah. Alright, the fighting position is destroyed. Steph's setting up his Panzer headquarters, which ah, is yeah. good. Yeah, because he went with uh, the first American, he went <coughs> immediately with the Schwier Panzer. Mm. Me, I went with the mechanist uh, headquarters because I kind of need the ammo a lot. Yeah. Alright.
right? The Americans for oh he moved out the MG. All right, I think it was because of uh, Steph's. Uh, oh, from that building. Gun, yeah. Oh, that was it. oh yeah. Of course, that's uh, not as the same as taking it. So. I should have sent in my forces to help you out at that moment. It's no biggie, like uh, having the flames makes uh, a lot of difference. <coughs> Anarchy comes in with these storms and I move up. <laughs> Look, my folks are around as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're surrounded. And also I have my Kubel as well to support. Oh, but it was always really? destroyed. Ah. My Kubel is still alive. No, I, I tried to call on recon support behind to throw in a grenade. But then I forgot, like, damn it, I had to wait for that thing to have a cooldown. Ah. Oh, so you can see where their uh, units are and such? What do you mean? With the Kubu? No, 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 no. Or do oh, you mean like a... The uh, recon support uh, infantry, dude. I called those in. Oh. Right behind the MG. Like, you see there's a building. Yeah, I yeah. I called them in there. Right. Oh, yeah, and I just uh, heard it from Steph as well that he went with the same doctor and I was like, damn it, I shouldn't have went with the same one. <clears throat> no biggie, you know. It's... It wasn't really that... Uh, Big of a mistake. Yeah. Alright. The American is now assaulting again from the south, but the Shvia Panzer headquarters pinned him down. Yep. <clears throat> you guys are holding out really well in the north. Yeah, our old side was pretty calm. Let me see the south. It's MG calm as hell. That's it? Wow. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. If they would have attacked on that position, at that place, then they would have just been able to do a really nice flank on us. But they I were think they, they were like really just wanted this position just to get the other VP points. Probably. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting my uh, walking Stuka. Oh, I'm getting a yak at the same time. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry about that. No problem. I actually should have went with even more walking stukas, but like at least two. There's the emplacement. Yeah, freaking British emplacement. What is that? Oh, that's a half track. Infantry half track. Oh, look at those rangers in the. In the. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Steph didn't know about them. Uh, I, I'm with those folks, not Steph. Look at that. Yeah, but later on, uh, uh -huh. uh, Steph loses a squad to them. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah, because of the fact that he didn't know that they had grenades. Yeah, they they immediately have grenades from the beginning, which is kind of sad. Where is my walking stuka? <laughs> oh, now I'm spamming out as much infantry as I can, except too much manpower. I have 500 manpower, but I'm like really conserving it. Because now the losses which I had, I, I was like very certain that it, it would drain like a lot of manpower. Yeah. There's the walking Stuka. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yep. He did it just in time as well, it didn't do absolutely yeah. no damage. But that building it <coughs> got really damaged at least. Yeah. There's the Yak. Hunter 2. Got a big boss because he renamed himself. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. Nice, nice. Oh, there's the, uh, the what's Centaur. It yeah. It's still really powerful. Yeah, Panzer Shreks don't have a chance against that thing. You need armor. Yeah, I'm moving 
in my tracks and my puma. I was like, come on, get close to me, you sneaky little mofo. Oh, nice shot from the Yag, mate. Thanks. When the guy, everyone said centaur, I was like, where is it? Ready. Mortars down. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. It's not destroyed, but it's just down. Fucking bastard right. was able to escape. Yeah, we will get it eventually. That filthy MG is so annoying. Yeah, I tried to take it out with the yak, but it, uh, it was really, uh, it wasn't really effective. You know, Effective, yeah. But he eventually got out of it. So he yeah, he did. Now, oh yeah, there's the American support gun now in the south. They're setting up like some kind of forward position or something. Oh yeah. Which kind of annoyed me because they were just shooting from there, like the little fiends they are. Throughout the entire game, I was myself thinking that I should get a uh, oh a uh, oh, it didn't destroy it. You did get a real echelon. Oh yeah. Well, it's better than nothing. And they yeah. big boss moving in with Panzer twos. Big boss. <laughs> moving in with my flames. That's a nice attack, actually. <clears throat> but it's really risky as well. They got some glory, right? Yeah. Oh, nice! He burned them out. I lost the squad, though. It's bad, but they lost more. <coughs> and then I saw the centaur, and I was like, no. Some of your forces are actually really damaged. Yeah. Oh, that staff's uh, artillery, one of five. Yep. I forgot about my cool and it got destroyed. I was so sad about that. Oh, yeah. Don't get past. The vehicle has converted to a static building. Oh, I assaulted in the south. Oh, together with staff, but then Centaur appeared. Yeah. And I was like, damn it. Destroys cover as well, so. Will it make it? It will. Yes, it will. Well, that was a devastating blow on our foes. Yeah. It was. It truly was. They destroyed, like, their positions. They lost a lot of units. They lost, uh, let's see, they lost anti tank gun, an MG, a uh, major, if I'm no, not a major, captain. Yeah, and then it. the problem is that they have a Jackson already and two centaurs. Yeah. But we sure. had a lot of anti tank capabilities, so. And if they would actually assault the city as well, they would be in a really big disadvantage. Yep. There's a lot of tight corners, and you can garrison every structure there. So. And this is where I got cocky. I tried to build my Panzer headquarters in the, uh, right in their face. Well, if you would have had the the complete, uh, you know, support of uh, Big Boss as well, then. Uh, nah, the thing is, Big Boss was there, but uh, there were just too many of them. Well, he was a bit behind with his Shvia Panzer headquarters. Oh yeah, we called... Oh yeah. Steph called it one of five barrage on that. Oh. Oh yeah, now they're assaulting you. They're also calling you artillery support. Yeah. Oh, 
didn't do anything. It was a devastating blow on me, but it wasn't this devastating as to the enemy. So much feel that even if uh, I would have built another one, it wouldn't face me that much. Oh, I got the headset. All right. Well, that place is now torn up really well. Ah, uh, Steph is assaulting. Yeah. Oh, there's the cook grenade. Yeah. Oh. Lost one Stoom Pioneer Squad. We still have the advantage, though. If we do, we control more of more of the territories. Oh, they planted a satchel mine. Do you see that? Where? Uh, where Stiff attacked. Look, you see it? Right next to the building. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I see it. Cheeky buggers. <laughs> and here comes the centaur again. Yeah. Easier way to make the enemy retreat. Yeah. I actually was thinking, like, what would what should I go with? Like, should I get a panther or should I go out for the king tiger? I was actually thinking that I don't have that much anti uh, tank capabilities, and big boss just sacrificed the. Oh. <laughs> oh, they got a firefly. Yeah. Forgot about that. The firefly almost destroyed my. Uh... Your head, sir. <coughs> no. Uh, the panther, the uh, yak panther. Oh, the yak. Yeah. This is where they get fucked with the. I know. I remember. That there's a moment like they're sending most of their armor, but then we screw them up with our, with our anti-tank capabilities. Whoa, that rifleman blob really got cocky. Tower lost. Oh, nice. And this is where I almost lose it. <laughs> if I would have stayed there, it would have been lost. I certainly. Oh, I lost a lot of infantry because of that fiend the centaur. Yeah, I saw that as well. But most of them managed to escape, thankfully. I think now, like, they will have like a little bit of moment of glory. Because they'll be able to push us back a little bit. Oh, look at that, there's the pack 43. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. They actually didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, the double pack 43s. <laughs> Yeah, I was getting close to the King Tiger. Yeah, I was still far away from it. Hmm. Where's that artillery going on? Uh, it was called on my uh, Yak Panzer, but oh. it, it was so slow that it didn't it do anything. Of, yeah. It only damaged my head a little bit. And there it is, the double pack 40 freeze. Ah, yes. Actually, at these moments I'm thinking, like, maybe... Do you re you remember that match we had on Dawn River? Where I give you artillery support and everything? I think... I remember. Like, when they were trying to cross the bridge... And here's the moment when my Puma, for some reason, is starting to shoot Steph's building. I was like, wait, what? What are you doing? Really? Yeah. <coughs> are you sure you didn't order to attack No, I, I didn't. Hey, that's weird. Oh, yeah, now there's the double howitzer. Yeah, that's things a nuisance. 
It is. Oh, you know, I'm sending my walking stuka. Let's see, there's an easy eight, firefly. I'm sending in my Puma. Yeah, that's the main gun destroyed. What is your Puma doing? No, I actually sent it in. Like, I didn't oh. want it. <laughs> well. Oh, it almost hit. Killed all of that those units there. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, that's my and Steph's artillery. Wow. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, nice. You purged the enemy. Every time I saw them trying to capture something, I immediately went in with my storms. Oh, their armor got annihilated. Yep. What was it, uh, Sherman or? Hi, it was the Centaur. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess they set it in for the exact reason of getting rid of it. Let's see. Is the Firefly destroyed? And at this point, they s surrendered. Oh yeah. I was able to get my half track out, but. He surrendered the moment <laughs> I have to. I got my Koenigstiger, like look. Really? Damn it. <laughs> look at the base, it's just arriving. Oh, that's sad. It is. But to be honest, it was kind of unnecessary at that point, like I said. I mean, they just would have made things fall worse for the enemy. Yeah, and easier for us. But that's mostly it. Yeah. Well, <sighs> This match was pretty good. I, I really liked it actually. Cause like we concentrated everything on this side. And it was fun. I, I really liked it. Twenty-five minutes. Yeah. Well, it was fun either way. Yeah. So anyways guys, thanks for watching and see ya next time. See ya.